Jenner here. It's day 194 since wildfire was declared, and 63 days since the disease abruptly went global. There's no clinical progress to report. It was the French. What? They were the last ones to hold out, as far as I know. While our people were bolting out the doors and committing suicide in the hallways, they stayed in the labs till the end. They thought they were close to a solution. We're all infected. At the CDC, Jenner told me, whatever it is, we all carry it. Welcome to Knock Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to discuss World Beyond. Could a character be working on the cure? Woo! Yes, guys. So, spoiler warning for The Walking Dead World Beyond. Not really spoiler warning because it's not out yet. Yeah. But this is some really good information because it leads into a video that we kind of did previously. We'll get into that. But who we're talking about is Dr. Leo Bennett, which is who is played by Joe Holt. He is the father of Hope and Iris. Yep. Now, the big key on this is that when we did character details of these characters uh, in the wiki, he is a renowned biochemist and geneticist working for CRM. In case you guys don't know what these are, a biochemist who works in biochemistry is a study of chemical processes within and related to living organisms. A geneticist is the study of genes, including how they are inherited, mutated, activated, or inactivated. Uh, Dr. Jenner speculated the virus origin could be microbial, viral, parasitic, or fungal. So could this... Meaning they had no idea. Meaning they had no idea, yeah. but could Dr. Leo Bennett be working on a cure, yeah. which leads him to disappear, which leads to Hope and Iris going to search for him. I love this. I, I absolutely love this. And, and the reason why is because uh, actually the Jenner episode was my favorite oh, episode. I love that. Episode. I loved it because as a, a source material reader, you're, you, you haven't gotten this kind of information Ooh. before. And that's actually like a lot of people say, well, not knowing is actually uh, a <laughs> lot better. No, I, I want to know more. I want to know more. Too. It's a space spore, dude. Space spore, yeah. <laughs> That's what Kirkman said. It's a space spore. It could be. <laughs> so basically, um, what we've heard in some of the trailers, Iris and Hope have said that their father is away doing important work that will one day benefit us all. And they've also mentioned that he's in trouble, which actually starts their adventure leading the Omaha CRM community. Now, we've gotten another hint about CRM working on a possible cure in Fear the Walking Dead. So spoiler alert for Fear the Walking Dead Season 5. So in Fear the Walking Dead Season 5, we, we meet the CRM soldier, Isabel. That's where we learn about the name CRM and what this community is about. Isabel told Al that their organization will basically eliminate their own people in the name of operational security. Okay? There's secrets there. And now Protecting their secrets, pretty much. Yeah, not necessarily meaning a cure, but whatever no, 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 they're no. working yeah. on, their supplies, their people, their They don't want knowledge. word to get out what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's, it's I've always, that's always rubbed me the wrong way about CRM. But yeah. like we talked about this before the video. Could CRM be concealing a cure? Mm -hmm. Meaning they don't want the cure to get out. Right. Could be. Yeah, Isabel also describes CRM as the future and also giving a warning about them saying, we are a force who are not living for ourselves or for now. Our mission is about the future and rebuilding what we once had. Now, that not, that's not necessarily talking about a cure, okay? It could be, but not necessarily. They, they want to rebuild society and rebuild maybe law and order. The cure could be mingled in there, but not necessarily their main focus. But we're assuming that from this information that they are at least working on it because I'm sure that they're going to have the best doctors, biochemists. What, what they have a biochemist? How many are left? Genetics. Though, you know, I mean, that's it's, the that's the key with the experience. Yeah, and, how many people yeah. are there that have had the schooling pre-apocalyptic event? Because honestly, that's what you need, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I love this aspect because it kind of reminds me of, um, I'm forgetting the movie. I Am Legend. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Where they, you know, he's uh-huh. he's the doctor. Yeah. He's in Ground Zero, and yeah. he his job is to find the cure. And it sounds like this. It, I hope we get a backstory on him. Well, I don't know if we will. Yeah. Well, what's also important is do they have the equipment? Yeah. Because you have to have the equipment to look in the genes, to look at the fungi, for space spores, <laughs> or, or something to that matter to even learn about it, to I'm, see how it's mutated. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. I mean, this is a, there's a community that has freaking helicopters and, and, and full military. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they got out there. I mean, um, you know, we, we saw in the episode of the CDC with Jenner that the, 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 the building was self, it's self-destructed. Yeah. So how many, I mean, was that for all CDC based buildings that do that? Um, so nothing gets out. Is who like that? World Health Organization? Right. I mean, th- there's got to be some labs out there that, you know, have have deep underground facilities yeah. so that a virus or a con- the contam- contaminant will not ever get out. Until tell you, army bases do. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, there Bunkers. are army bases that go stories down down underground. Oh, yeah. So, guys, uh, uh, two... About two months ago, we did a video. Uh, We'll pop it up right here if you guys want to check it out. It was about Rick Grimes and a possible story plot for the movies where it was uh, a rumored plot where that wherever Rick is, they are working on a cure and they're doing some shady stuff, maybe doing human experiments on the cure to see, will it cure them? Will it just the A or B? Will it just mutate them? That could be that too. Maybe, Maybe an A is a perfect specimen for experiment. On, right. on the vaccine. If they're strong, if they're dude, if they're healthy. Dude. But what's a B? We just figured it out. But what's a B though? Uh why would Rick be a B? Is it just because Jadis could save his life? Or close to death where he might be a candidate, or uh, okay. one that maybe they don't even care about and are willing to sacrifice. Or maybe use like maybe test people who were injured to see if this mutated piece of the cure can help to Almost like okay, he get, he get, he gets stabbed through the through the gut. Would that help to a quicker recovery, to seal up that wound, to help restore um, organ fe- organ function and things like that? Maybe he's the cure, huh? Judith's the cure. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I mean, it is really amazing that we're going to be getting into this, and I just hope that we, I just hope that we do get this because how we're kind of interpreting the the the, the season is. We might get a little bit of the father, and then he's going to be gone. Yeah. And then it's just going to be about the kids. So yeah. really, how much are we going to see this unless it's like all in flashbacks? Yeah. Or maybe a part of it in flashbacks, and then part of it in real time before he goes off yeah, and then I, disappears. I really hope we get a backstory for him. You know, And here's another thing. like, Is he working with other scientists? And yeah. is he training other scientists, much like we've seen in our Walking Dead world, where we get a doctor that's been a doctor, mm-hmm. but they realize that we need to train up other people because yeah. we are limited in the resources that we have, yeah. meaning human power. Yeah. I mean, so, I'm, I'm, what really got me excited was just his background. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because his background is going and to say genes. a lot. Yeah. yeah. I studying mean, the genes dude. of people. And, and, and the thing to remember is this is a virus that's in everyone. So that's yeah. where that genealogy yeah. probably comes into play. I mean, I'm not a scientist, but as far as we know, yes, it affects everyone. We don't know if maybe you, if you have specific genes, if the, if this, whatever it is, would maybe mutate to where you would not turn. You know what I mean? Well, oh, there, there, you know. there, there's now what gene therapy? Yeah, that's that exists. Yeah. So I mean, it, yeah, I it'll be crazy and awesome to see what we get from World Beyond with regards to a cure. I mean, maybe that's what this whole series is about. I mean, I know it's about mm-hmm. Iris and Hope getting to their father. Yeah, but why is he gone? Exactly. What happens? Because they said that he's in trouble, and you know how much information does Iris and Hope know? Maybe that you know, maybe he's bound by secrecy where he can't tell his family much but maybe he gives them bits and pieces or maybe hope and iris you know going through his paperwork kind of figure it out or as they're on you know working with huck and felix who have kind of been you know heads of security with crm maybe they've seen some things that they don't truly know about but they said yeah we've seen people like doctors coming in with these medical equipment we've seen them dragging in walkers which they call empties dragging in empties awesome. in for for testing we don't know yeah. we don't know but it's going to be exciting definitely let us know what you think how much of this story in world beyond will we get with dr leo bennett working on a cure or just 
not necessarily not even calling it the cure. He's just working on something about the possible well future of what they kind of want to do. I mean, the, the step one in in I'm assuming I'm, I'm just I don't know in looking at a virus is understanding the virus. Yeah, and I, and I think that's probably what he would be doing. Yeah. Taking this virus, breaking it down, understanding what, you know, the components are of it and going from there. So, it, hey, if we even get a, a scene of him working on this thing, that'd be cool. And how much of control does Elizabeth Kublik have over him? Oh, oh, yeah. She's in she's in charge of that area. Does that fall under the military? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I would think so. I yeah. would think so. And how much is she reporting back to the major general of his work? So we cannot wait to find out more on this. Definitely let us know what you think in the comments. We would love to see what you guys think. And um, oh, dude, let us know. Like, what if the general's daughter got it? Mm -hmm. And they know that this dude's working on a cure. So they snatch him up. Maybe. I don't know. We don't know. I can't wait. Let us know what you think. <laughs> Make sure you guys feel free to subscribe. Help us grow our community to help us get to our 10,000 subscribers. We truly appreciate each and every one of you come to check us out. Make sure you smash the like button if you enjoyed and stay tuned for more from us. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're out. out.